this lesson, we'll be creating this easy, colourful pattern Christmas tree. And this would be great as a classroom activity. But before we start, if you love art, then don't forget to look at the other lessons at www.montmart.net. We have links to our Facebook and Instagram pages also, as well as to our art club, The Creative Connection. First I transfer my tree onto a 90 by 45 centimetre canvas. The first image in the PDF outlines four basic designs that you can choose from. They are pretty easy and can be done by eye. They're all based on a triangular shape. Just remember to draw the central line and work from there. Keep your lines fairly light and remember symmetry is the key. The star can be simple or like this one, a little bit more complex. This is a five point star that has beveled edges. I then pop on some tinsel and make it look like it wraps around the tree. Once that's done, we can add some paints. I'll be using Montmartre Studio Acrylic. I'm using the Montmartre Multi-Purpose Paint Box and this is fantastic for students. As well as a palette, it also has a deep compartment for washing brushes, as well as a sponge, brush holders and a removable multiple compartment paint tray. At the end of the day, each student can fix on the palette which acts as a lid and put it all neatly away. I then apply that black around the tree with a wide artist's tack long. Straight out of the tube, Studio Acrylic has the viscosity of, say, toothpaste. So to get it to flow off the brush, you need to add a little water to the paint. Paint the sides of the canvas as well. There are 18 colours in the Studio range, and the tones used are up to the artist. But I have chosen Lemon Yellow, Monastral Green, Viridian Green, Sap Green and Cerulean Blue. You will also need some smaller brushes to do the finer detailing. Start by laying in the base colours. Use a medium flat brush for this. Our patterns will be laid on top. The first colour is Lemon Yellow. Moving to the Monastral Green, then Viridian, Sap Green and lastly Cerulean Blue at the bottom. These are cool colours, but you might like to create a warm group of colours. For example, lemon yellow to orange, vermilion scarlet and crimson at the base. I then lay a number into the trunk. Once these base colours are laid in, I start on the star. The colours I'm using for this are cerulean blue and scarlet. These colours are laid up consecutively. If you wanted, you might like to paint the star a single colour. While the paint was still wet, glitter could be dropped into it. While I have the red, I paint in the tinsel around the tree. In the second image of the PDF, there are some suggested patterns for you to select from. My first pattern will be circles of differing sizes. Creating patterns can lead to a sense of order. This helps with problem solving and mathematical skills. It also provides a simplistic, light-heartened way to unwind from stress. It hones your focus by drawing you away from agitation and anxiety and it's a fun, relaxing way to spend your time. It's also a really great group activity to do.
See you next time.